Andy Mogul. Is this what you want? We can be slaves, or we can be lightons. While the first two Underworld films were modest successes, star Kate Beckinsale has said she wants to move on from action films. Except if Christopher Nolan offers her the role of Catwoman, then she'll totally take it. That means her director slash husband is left holding the bag. But not really. Len Wiseman won't be returning either. Instead, he's putting on his producer hat and handing the reins over to the previous film's production designer, Patrick Titopoulos. Although with no Beckinsale and no Scott Speedman, what do we really have here? A prequel! Michael Sheen, who was in the original film as the first Lycan, a.k.a. Werewolf, takes center stage as this movie tells his origin story. And yes, that is the same actor who plays David Frost in Frost Nixon. Talk about versatility. And filling out Beckinsale's black leather jumpsuit is Rona Mitra, who secured her mantle as the cheap Kate Beckinsale with Doomsday. By the way, here's some gossip that's just too good to pass up. Sheen and Beckinsale had a daughter in 1999, and were still dating on the set of Underworld. But then Beckinsale fell in love with director Wiseman and left Sheen to marry him. So Sheen wasn't in Underworld 2. But now the daughter calls both Sheen and Wiseman dad because they're all friends and Sheen stars in Underworld 3. And you thought vampire-werewolf relations were tricky. So, on Thursday, the Academy Award nominations came out, and surprise, surprise, they were annoying right off the bat. Looks like we've got a long four weeks ahead of us until the Academy Awards show. But you know what? I think we, the audience, should get to have a say in who wins an Oscar. So beyond the trailer is going beyond the Oscars. Go to the BTT website and cast your vote for who you think should win an Oscar. Don't like who's nominated? There's even a write-in section. And by voting, you become eligible to win a brand new Blu-ray DVD player. So head over to the website and let your voice be heard. What if I told you the future of your dreams can be found today, if you know where to look? Join me in amazement as we discover incredible inventions brought to us by science and technology. WePC TV is brought to you by ASUS and Intel. You dream it, ASUS builds it, Intel inside. Is Underworld deserving of the trilogy treatment? Oh, definitely. Yes, there was a whole lot of unanswered questions in the first two, so it came pretty much full circle come the third part. Explain a lot to me. I liked it. Oh, cool. And how about you? Have you seen all three movies now? Uh, actually, no. I've seen one and this one. How was this one? Not as good as the last one. You know, if you want to watch like vampires and werewolves fight each other, it's you know that's what you're getting. Are you pro lichen or pro vampire? Actually, I'm pro lichen. And this one, I'm pro lichen. Same here. Lichen. Ah. Have you always been pro lichen, or did this movie sway you? It swayed me. I was vampire now. Yeah. With Twilight being mm -hmm. so popular, mm -hmm. are these vampires irrelevant in Underworld? No, I don't think so at all. I think there's plenty of room for lots of vampires. Did you see Twilight? Yes. Yes. Well, who has the cooler vampires? Underworld. Underworld. Are Twilight vampires or Underworld vampires? Twilight vampires. As long as you can add and take out what you want, people will be doing vampires forever. So can you have an Underworld movie, though, without Kate Beckinsale? No. No. Uh, she was missing that movie, I thought. It wasn't missing Kate at all, to be honest with you. I think it worked. Rona Mitra was good. I liked her. She blew up the screen. Ooh. What did you think of Michael Sheen as the lead, uh, as Lucian? I thought it was, he was great. I think he, he really carried the part very well. Oh, he was gorgeous. <laughs> he was gorgeous. Oh, my God. Is he a good action star? I he think is. so, yeah. Yeah, I think so. He's, I think he's a really good action star. So do you prefer Michael Sheen as a lichen or as 1970s interviewer <laughs> David Frost? I actually just, that was the last movie I saw before this one. I loved Frost Nixon, so I have to give it to that. What do you think it does for Michael Sheen's career as a serious actor to be in a movie like this? Um, he needs, if he really wants to be a, if he really wants to be a serious actor, he's going to have to do both, the action films, and he's going to have to do the intellectual stuff. So he's on his way. So he's on his way. What would you give the movie on a one to ten? I'd say a five. A solid eight. I would give it a nine. nine. A nine. Same here, always, nine. I give it a ten. I liked it. Ooh, what, how about you? Well, I'll give it an eight. Nine and a half. 2009 appears to be the year of the werewolf as audiences give Underworld Rise of the Lycans an eight. And Underworld 3 is the focus of this week's one sentence review challenge. If you've seen the movie, leave your one to ten rating below as well as a one sentence review. The best one will be featured on Sunday on Movie Math. I'm Grace Randolph and you've just gone beyond the trailer.